<clears throat> this is Stockton and uh, 4th in Charleston, West Virginia. And at this signal here, um, our recall mode is on because one of our loops went bad. And the problem we were having was a whole lot of dead time. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, vehicles here that are stopped. And so if you noticed, we kicked down the, the recall time to no more than 15 seconds. So there's never going to be a problem with excessive delay at this intersection just by kicking that cycle time, that phase time down to 15 seconds. We are approaching uh, the absolute most pointless signal in Charleston, West Virginia of the 141 signals that we have. And this is Main Street. We're down the street from the other one. And many, many years ago, this was an important street and they had taken the original street, which you can see goes to the left. There's a little island right up here. And they had connected it up on this angle to connect up with another street that was a half a block away and they put these signals up so the geometrics are very large well the issue with this signal as you can see is that there's no traffic so we basically have a fully functional traffic signal with absolutely no traffic passing through the traffic counts uh, on the cross street which is delaware are under 1000 cars a day so this is our ideal candidate for traffic removal. The issue at this signal is the geometrics. You not only had that one island on Main, but when you cross the street where they connected, you can see this other island here, and this is Munangalia Street. <clears throat> so they took two streets and connected them up, which was appropriate and proper for the time. But it precludes from being converted to a four-way stop installation. So our temporary solution was to set these signals to run every 15 seconds. So it's a 30-second cycle length total. So you'll see it's about 15 seconds. And then you'll see the signal switch like it just did. Our ultimate solution is we've designed an hourglass shape roundabout, the hourglass about, uh, that'll incorporate those two existing islands, and that way we can remove these signals and save ourselves $10,000. So we're staring down Randolph Street, which is the one way that is coming towards me. And this is Randolph and Maryland. And as I pan, you can see it's pretty much devoid of much traffic. And this is one where we know it should come down. We do have plans to take it down. And right now in the interim, we have it where Randolph this one way here. Uh, it basically dwells on green. And when a call comes on Maryland, it'll switch uh, immediately to give them the green so that they can go through. This originally was part of a progression system, but because of low traffic volumes, we've actually removed this particular signal from the progression, and it just runs now as a semi-actuated. This next intersection is what's known as Little Five Corners here in Charleston. Um, it's actually, we've got... Uh, it's actually a five-point intersection, and if you look on the far side where that vehicle was waiting, there's actually a little triangle there. And at one point in time, the signals were so long that people would go around this little island here that I'm pointing out. See this little island? And this hooks up to the, the last point, which is Main Street. And the signals had such poor timing that whatever traffic came down Main Street would actually go around the island and go around it rather than wait for the signal. And as you can see, there's basically no traffic. 
so this is coming out of the fifth point and at one point in time it took over 60 seconds to get the green and see how quickly we've got the green now on that is a few blocks away this is seventh in stockton and this is such a low volume intersection you can see uh, there's really nothing going on um, so what we did is since seventh is considered a through movement and Stockton has the call, we've kicked down all the wait time to 15 seconds so that no motorist ever has to wait 15 seconds uh, to get the signal indication here. Because you can see as soon as that truck pulled up, the signal pretty much changed uh, right for them. Okay, this here is down the street from the previous intersection. This is 7th in Florida. Um, Again, as you can see as we're watching the film, it's not too terribly busy. Uh, this would be one that you could take these signals down and replace it with an all-way stop, except it has a little quirk on the geometrics, uh, which would present a problem. And you can see the car is pulled up and we're at green. Uh, again, we've got these set where you don't have to wait any more than 15 seconds to get your signal indication. So we've, this is a, an actuated signal, it's run independently, and we set the minimum times at 15 seconds uh, to ensure a quick change of phasing. So you can see there's a vehicle here, but he was going right. But it's a very, very uh, low volume street here. So there was really no point in running much longer cycles than that. 